I'm Sarah Ng, and we're here in the cafeteria to report on how Hofstra students are spending their Valentine's Day. Do you have any Valentine's Day plans this year? Well, actually, Valentine's Day is my birthday, so probably just going out to dinner with some of my friends. I'm taking my girlfriend to a very nice Italian restaurant, uh, not that far away from Hofstra, so it's going to be nice, we're going to have a good time, eat a lot of good food. Uh, my friends and I are going to do a polar plunge. I am single, so I will be just buying some roses for my friends who are also single to make them less lonely. Well, I do, actually. I'm going to watch the movie Valentine's Day with a group of friends. Very chill. Would you watch a rom-com on Valentine's Day, or would you go the completely other route and go for a horror movie? <laughs> I don't like Valentine's Day, so maybe horror, but also a good rom-com is fun, you know? Any recommendations? Like When Harry Met Sally, that's a good one, classic. What kind of music would you play on Valentine's Day? What's an artist you think has like romantic music or like would capture the essence of the day? The Weeknd. The Weeknd. Yeah, I feel like The Weeknd produces some good Valentine's Day music. The artist Isabella Love Story. Love in the name. It works. She just, uh, she makes very like pop, very techno, very pumped up music. Do you prefer chocolates or candy heart? I'm not big chocolate guy. I go candy heart. Candy heart all the way. I'd have to say chocolate hearts, you know, can't go wrong with chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Chocolates for sure. Definitely chocolate. But I would go candy, candy cars, yeah. Probably chocolates. Probably conversation. I'm not much of a chocolate person. Chocolate 100%. No. I like the candy hearts with no. like the, the letters on them. No, chocolate. Like the XO. Chocolate. No, no, no. Chocolate, chocolate. For Hofstra Today, I'm Sarah Ng.